could, this is better even. I, I think it's uh, it's like we're doing a podcast, but no headphones. Yep. All righty. So I'm here with the man. The man. man. The legend. Uh, I, Cody I'm, Nelson. I'm working on it. So, yeah, Cody came down to the Gohan office, so we figured it's a great time to dive in. So we decided to look at some optics. So right in front of us, we have three different Swaros, all 10 by 42s. Yes. And I just want to know everything you have in your head. Explain them to me. You use know, cases. The, the, what's really exciting about this whole thing is this. You have the, the old standby 10 by 42 ELs. So for comparisons, you know, size-wise, if you look at everything and do it this way, you know, so you get a good idea. So you have you have the new 10 by 42 EL range, and you have the new 10 by 42 uh, NL peers. All of them, you know, obviously very exciting. Um, the NL peers completely redesigned. So the, the, they've elongated the uh, prisms and twisted them, and that's why you see an enhanced and feel an enhanced ergonomic feel. It's also put your fingers in better place for the for focusing. Um, you know, they they it's I don't know how to explain this, but they feel smaller than they are. They really do in your hands. They, they um, feel really great. To the, just these are them. right at thirty ounces, and they I just can't get over um, you know how they feel when you put them to your eyes. Um, the the next thing that you're going to notice about these is the field of view. Uh, the field of view literally uh, is now on a 10 power, um, is 399, which is basically what you would typically get out of an 8 power. It's crazy. And so, you know, for real time, you know, like guys are going to say, well, why would I use these versus just the regulars? Or So imagine a guy that is hunting dense wood forests or, you know, maybe he's, um, you know, just in, in not so open country. And that, but he's trying to tell points and inches and, you know, or, you know, what something is, mm -hmm. but you, you know, maybe he was used to using eights and he thought, well, I didn't want to go up because I, I didn't want to lose the power. Now he's got the 10 by 42 NL peers that literally the field of view changes everything, Brady. Um, I, I really, really think that, that this is going to um, change people's thought process when they start um, uh, d trying to decide, do I go eights, tens, twelves? Mm -hmm. And I know we have another video planned for for twelves and those. We'll discuss those later. But it, I mean, I got to be honest with you. One of the biggest questions I'm getting right now is, do I go with you know eights? Do I go tens? And uh, I, I mean, for guys that are trying to do dual purpose, mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I almost don't know why you wouldn't go tens sometimes because you're getting that wider field of view. Yep. You've got that extra power. I think it's a phenomenal choice. What would you say the biggest similarities, maybe some differences too, from between the standby ELs and now the Pures? Are they um, similar the, the, op the optical performance is going to be really, really close. I, and I'm not going to lie, not going to pull punches. I'm going 10 by 42 NL Pures simply from, I, I am amazed at the field of view. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I immediately see the benefits to that. But don't kid yourself, at twenty one ninety nine. dollars mm -hmm. This is still one of the best pieces of glass on the planet. Still a legit gold and, standard. And, it's, and it still needs to be treated that way. Mm -hmm. um, it's a phenomenal piece of glass. Again, I give uh, just the slight edge goes to the peers, you know, glass-wise, only because you're getting that wide field of view. Mm -hmm. But the light transmission on them is phenomenal, um, and I, I, I just can't be more pleased with how they turned out. I mean, just... We sold a boatload of them, and they yeah, everybody the, the 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 reviews on them just come back through the roof. So mm -hmm. it's awesome. Is there any chance or use case where you still like obviously you want a rangefinder mm -hmm. or something, and you could still glass and do all sorts of long distance glassing mm -hmm. with the EL range TA, right? Yeah, still it's still going to get the job done. Still going to be in so, that same similarity here. What, what? Okay, so this the the new EO ranges. Something really interesting happened when they first came out. Um, if you go back in history and you kind of you know on the development of all, all this glass, the original EO ranges were made with the original EO glass, like mm -hmm. you know back in the early two thousands yep. when when they were first came out. So I don't think it's not. It was still EO glass, mm -hmm. but it hadn't received the upgrades oh, you know same. along the way they'd already had all that in production so the best part about these that i see right now other than the fact that there's been some other enhancements i think it's amazing that that these now have el swervers and glass 
and I, I gotta be honest with you, that it, it they wowed me. So you're, so you're basically getting the same glass you have here yeah. and there, and now you're getting the range finding capability. Here's the one thing that shocked me, though. They were able to actually move the, the, the and change the, the field of view hmm. from a 330 up to a, to a 359. So, so now you're getting a 1042, you're getting a lot more field of view. And, and, and it is, when you put them on a, a tripod or when we were really testing them, mm -hmm. it was quite phenomenal to me uh, uh, of and noticeable of that extra field of view cannot be more pleased with the, the optical quality uh, of a rangefinder, and um i think this is just going to blow people away something else to, to think about this this is still only 32 or 33 ounces mm -hmm. um i don't think this one has the battery in it today but th they move the button to the to the yeah, right side a game this is i know the <laughs> archery guys are like oh finally we've been asking for that for years and years Swarovski hit it out of the park with that you know, it, it's got the pro style, you know, uh, uh, pendulum style mm -hmm. uh, uh, neck straps. They've even enhanced the, the mode button where that goes. Um, you know, you now can go on a Swarovski's uh, uh, app yeah, that's and cool. download. Uh, you, they give you three um, uh, uh, ballistic profiles. There's a lot more to come on this. We're going to do some other tests, I know, in the field. Mm -hmm. um, ranges down to another big one for the archers. It ranges down to uh, uh, 11 yards. You know 10.9 yards um, most people don't understand that that was a patent infringement huh. and they, they they just couldn't go down below that 30 yard or what you know 30 meter mark and so now they can um but again i'm just super super excited at this one 36.29 on the retail but it is i mean it is an absolute winner when it comes to glass and uh in all the reports back to this point um, have just been phenomenal with its its uh, its infield capabilities, uh, and then one of the thing that they've added, and I can't be more pleased that we're even having these kind of conversations, is the the tracking assistant. Yeah. Um, that is technology that is going to help you in the field. Well, it's you know people say well, and, and I want to be really clear with it. When you are within cell range and, and you have coverage, it will overlay onto Google Maps. That's crazy. And so if anybody's ever shot something in the evening or at night and in dark falls, you know, the, the, I'm not going to say that you don't, shouldn't have spotters and do it, you know, the way we've done it for all these years, yeah. but it is nice that it will, it will actually record the last three ranges and it will actually overlay on the map where those, where those ranges, ranges were. were. And it will at least get you in the ballpark. Yeah, because that makes animal recovery that and much so easier. And so we, we will be doing some field tests on that, so we're, we're excited about that. If it's not within range, it goes uh, you know, to more of a, of a directional. Mm -hmm. And it's just going to, you know, when, when it, it'll take you to where you, you last ranged, and it, if, you're, if you're off, it'll, 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 it'll kick you back to center. So the fact that we're even having this conversation and that cool. technology is coming, this um, is all in a binocular too, which makes it even. Yeah, sweeter. I mean, I've had guys that literally like were you know trying to locate sheds, so that I mean, it, it, there's just been some really neat kind of feedback on it, mm -hmm. and uh, and and I can't wait to to use it in the field myself. And um, I mean, we did we put all these you know for glass testing we did, but I really want to put the the rangefinder to test, uh, you know, with a, with rifle and and, and both archery. Um, and then, and then also, uh, you know, try to use a tracking assistant and, mm -hmm. assistant and, and see how that goes. Just a phenomenal lineup. Swarovski really, you know, hit it out of the park. And I, you know, I, I don't think you could ask for better choices. Yeah. What was the weight difference on the Pures compared to the ELs? Uh, I think you were two ounces. Is what the, the it was only two ounces. Okay. So I mean, you're, you're all of these. You're still within a pound of each. Or, I mean, I'm sorry, a couple ounces of each yeah. other. Um, I was surprised that, that these, you know, were, were as light as they were. Mm -hmm. With the battery, I think it jumps to 33 or 34 ounces, yeah. so, um, which isn't a lot by any stretch. And if you've noticed, they, the, the, the humps um, have actually gotten a little bit, you know, they've, they've scalloped them and, and taken them off like that. So, um, quite frankly, you know, people used to complain about these, but anybody that's owned them and had them, you really, quite frankly, don't you notice them. Notice so um you know i've even thought about it like even too like I, i've had him sit on my dash you know just driving down the road and it's got um, extra grip I, well I, I actually like the way it sits on the dash it mm -hmm. kicks him up and 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 it holds it in place i, I can find uses just for about anything yeah. 
mm-hmm. you, you find notice and you notice things like that all the time. So, um, but yeah, just again, a, a phenomenal lineup from Starovsky. So explain to me the difference on this diopter, because as you can see here on the back of it, it actually shows your reference marks on the inside. Yeah, so what that is, is that when you, um, when you get your glasses, uh, you literally, there's an index mark, okay? Yep. And, and it's, I and really it, like that, it's index on the back, I yeah. can easily see it. Well, I, I like it, the fact that, you know, you're not looking over the top or trying to look yeah, so under the top. Yeah, every time you pick and, up your binos to look so, at the glass, if you, gave, and, like and, you, if you gave me your binos, I would know to instantly be able to reference yeah. and change that. So this one, you're looking this way and you gotta look over the top. Yep. I, I think people find it easier that they can just look at you know the bottom of it. Mm-hmm. Um, a, do- a diopter basically is is focusing for one eye, mm-hmm. and then you know with one eye closed and and then coming back and focusing both eyes at the same time. So the, with the EL ranges though, you you do have dual diopters. Okay. So um, it's a fairly common question. I would always ask people to to read the manual. Yeah because um, it gives it a really good expl- explanation as to why and how you do that. Mm-hmm. But it also has to do with the readouts okay. on the inside because you're, you're, you're also focusing so you get a clear read too. Mm-hmm. So, you know, of, of, of the yardages, but. Yeah. Um, and that's, so, some, that's something yeah, that I always take note of too because I always have mine set, you know, for my eyes. Mm-hmm. And then when I give it to a friend and they use it, they're gonna be moving it around. They give it back to me and they quickly find an animal. I want to know exactly what mine was, so I can that's one hundred percent. Because right back. if your buddy wears glasses, or uh, you know, it's very, it's very common for me that almost every glass I, I pick up, mm-hmm. my diopter setting almost is always pretty much right yeah, down the it's middle. Really close. So I mean, it's 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 within you know like you know one one click or one bar either way. Mm-hmm. Um, but if you're trading with you know if it's your wife, it's your you know, hunting partner, whatever you're doing, if that guy's got different eyesight, it's going to be a different diopter setting. Yep. So yep. it just, what it's really doing is, is it's it's basically, it's fine tuning your focusing. Mm-hmm. Because you can pick up any binocular and you can wheel all the way right or wheel all yep. the way left and, and, and generally get a focus out of it. But when you set your diopter setting, you're, you're really setting it to the most finite, most assured focus you're basically you making it to your eye and, and and really what does that do it helps your eye relax mm-hmm. creates less eye fatigue yep so if you pick up a pair so, of binos and it doesn't 100%. look right with you it's probably that adjustment that's why i just love the how i can easily reference this one yeah, it's really easy and absolutely it's right there but speaking of eye fatigue um one of the other things that um is pretty uh cool about um, these systems is that the el range and now the nl peer have uh, headrests. That's a good feature. And um, I, I, I'm not gonna lie, I you get in your ways and you think, oh, I just want a regular binocular. Mm-hmm. I don't need gimmicks. I don't need anything. Um, when you're hand holding and and you're trying to do you know ranges out you know to distance, I'm not gonna lie, it helps. It's giving you another anchor point it, for it, those it's archery giving, guys. You it's, know? it's giving you basically a tripod. Yep. I mean, it, it really is. Bottom line is, is I'll take any help I can get, mm-hmm. you know, to, to give me the best and most consistent readings. After all, you know, if we're gonna use that 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 yardage for a shot, mm-hmm. I think it's absolutely worth it. I mean, you owe it to the game to to be as accurate as you can. So yep. why not be you know more accurate? Mm-hmm. At the same time too, it'll help you glass too. Yep. And, and then NL Piers, I don't know, you can probably show the camera just so you can see, but there's two little slots up here where those pin in. And uh, that's that's how you do it. I really so. like that feature too, being able to like lean into it mm-hmm. and just have it rest slightly. Yeah, unfortunately right now, just so you know, we're sold out of the the, the head, the, the eel ranges, the, those headrests haven't come in. We just sold out of those and have more on the way. So. But uh, yeah, it's it's it is a um, a viable, usable. I don't believe that's a gimmick. I, I really truly believe that it helps you. Any other thoughts that we haven't covered yet on any of these three? Do you like to mention? Obviously, they're all three awesome. <laughs> Buy one of each. Buy one of each. Yeah. <laughs> no, it, you know, really, I, I again, Swarovski quality glass. You know, I'm just trying to give people the, the different views and. And let them look at them from a from a, a, a size wise. I, I think the beautiful thing that we're talking about now, and the best thing about all of this, and 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 being able to do these videos, is we have more choices than we yep. did, you know, 
five years ago, more choices than ten years ago. And so many options for I mean, anyone dies. Okay. It just keeps getting more and more. And and I've always said this is that you know I liken you know optics anymore. I don't know. They let us carry four. You know, in, the, in PGA, you carry fourteen clubs in your golf bag, and there's a club for every instance. You know, and it's kind of getting. I know guys that have several pieces of optics, and they use them for specific things. Yep, that's so, well put. I like you that know, analogy. Uh, I think the biggest thing is is that if you have confusion, you don't know which one to buy. Call me. Yep. Um, give us a ring. Uh, you know, go to the the, the YouTube channel. Comment. Um, we'll always com- uh, comment back. Um, if you want to have a conversation, uh, you know, call us up at the at the regular uh, 702-847-8747, and we will we will have a conversation with you and help you make the the, the right choice for what you need. Mm-hmm. And you'll be the guy they'll talk to. I, I I absolutely do everything I can to get that call right away. All right, so that was just a quick, but yet I figured it was really in depth too overview of. This lineup of Suarez, these are all the 10 by 42s. And up here, we have the EL, and we have the EL range. TAs. TAs. Yes, the sir. New, the new, new. The, yeah, the, the newest of the new. Yep. So, again, if you guys have any questions, easiest way for this on the video, drop comments in below. Uh, we'll have Mr. Cody Nelson respond back to you guys, or else just give him a call. And you, sure. can, you can also always email at optics at gohunt.com. Yep. A lot of ways um, to get in touch with us. Yep. Optics is a big, you know, decision people have to make. So definitely, you know, take take advantage of Cody. He's here for you guys. Always willing to help. Mm-hmm.